Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So this is a super exciting one today. We are talking about some handmade bespoke watercolor palettes. So um, I have been working on these for the last four weeks, I want to say. And um, actually it's really been really nice. I wanted to thank you guys for your support. Uh, when I announced that I might be taking a little break and then I was actually I've been able to keep up with videos every two weeks and I haven't filmed I think this is my second video in five weeks so it's been quite nice and so I've been able to get some other things done and one of those things that I've been wanting to do since the channel started was to create some watercolor palettes um so these will be limited edition palettes i won't be like becoming a watercolor shop or anything i'm not going to have you know colors uh, particular colors you know in the shop all the time or anything like that i like i used to release the journals and i still want to um do some more of those but um, they take quite a lot of time and there's a lot of you know hand sewing and things like that so i'm still kind of working on how i can manage those but in the meantime these will be kind of like the journals so every now and then there will be a limited edition um kind of palette collection so i am really really i love how these turned out um these are kind of mermaid inspired and kind of think florentine coral reef so like um you know off the coast of italy somewhere and you know that they, they when I was doing them, so I, you can see here, like um, I started with did the different shells, and then I started building up the colors. The first week, um, that was footage from the first week. I had a little bit, few disappointments, but okay. So um, here, this is the first type of palette. This is like a little watercolor souffle. So I wanted it to be really decadent, and um, there are five in the pink color available. And then there are two from when I started. So one of these is just, it only has about half of the amount of watercolor. So these two will be um, like discounted in the shop. And you can see this one, like there was some cracking in the first um, layer there. So it doesn't affect how the paints work, but um, yeah, those will be discounted in the shop. So you can see on the left there, that's the one that has half the amount, but you can't really tell on the camera but you can tell you know in real life so there will be five of those plus two extra discounted ones and there'll be six of these little um they're like mother of pearl palettes so the the first ones are like souffle palettes we'll call them that and then these ones are the mother of pearl palettes you can see like the beautiful shells there and i feel like they're like mermaid scales so um yeah when they like fall off no mermaids were harmed in the making of these palettes but um yeah so really pretty and then these ones here are irish clamshells and these are called the splash palettes so they just have an array of beautiful um you know different pigments and you can see like when i was one of the goals here is to i've really loved the feedback from um, and you can see here, like, I just want to dip in and start painting. They're so re really lovely. But um, one of the goals for this channel is to get you thinking about color in uh, new ways. And I love getting the feedback from you guys about how you have really enjoyed that from the channel. And you have started to be able to think about different ways to create a palette, to use your palette, to mix things. And so that is one of the goals of these palettes is to get the color uh, flowing and mixing and you know um, moving and thinking about those things and you can see when i was doing some of these shells and i started to kind of marble the uh, watercolor a little bit which i think just looks so beautiful these are the last uh, type of palettes that i have here and these are uh, really decadent so these are like on silver platters and then they still need a little bit more work like I need to add some more layers and some more pearls and things like that but I if I postponed I was up till 4 30 this morning like filming and editing and trying to finish everything um yeah if I had have kind of waited until everything was you know exactly in order I probably would have had to postpone the video till next week so 
um, yeah, they will go in the listing, but just know that they are still going to get, you know, some more layers and things on them. So it's been quite nice. I get up, uh, make orange juice, do the dishes, and then do the watercolors for an hour or two. So it's actually, again, like, it's quite, it takes a long time to wait for the layer to dry and then, you know, mull the new paints and um, all the pigments are different and rah, rah, rah. So these will um, definitely, you know, they require some more, you know, just decadence, more luxury. I think one of the things that I am really inspired by is um, wedding invitations and, you know, stationery and um, all of that kind of stuff. And I think that like, you know, I feel like we should be able to have some of that really decadence and elegance in our li everyday lives. So this is kind of what I have tried to create here, just to be able to have that little bit of um, beauty and kind of a fairy tale quality um, sitting on your desk or sitting on a shelf and being able to use it. I, I feel like these, I just want to kind of pick them up and hold them like the way um, an oil painter holds uh, the palette and just kind of, you know, hold them and paint. So they're really, really beautiful. I'm hoping that I have made um, enough. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, you guys will obviously let me know what you like, what is, you know, what you would rather have instead or um, how, what, however that will work. I feel like some of you will want to kind of collect them and keep them um, and not paint with them, which I totally support. And if you want to get them and start painting immediately, I totally support that. So, you know, however you want to use them. And you can see that the shells there will fit into the, like a, you know, in between your other um, palettes. So as long as there's not like the grooves there, you know, if you have a vintage tin or something like that, you can um, pop the shells in amongst your other watercolors. And I was just showing you as well that, and you can see kind of the, um, the shell in the early stages versus, you know, what I ended up with there. And yeah, you can see like the one on the right was just kind of a first try there. Um, and the other thing I was showing you is that there are about eight half pans or, you know, eight to nine or somewhere around eight-ish um, in the souffle palettes as well. So, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about the colors, but I realized that some of you, while I was doing this, I thought, you know, some of you will probably love these. And then some of you might just want um, half pans or full pans, you know, that you can work from. So like if you don't want to um, use the other ones or if you just want the colors, I was thinking maybe to do a limited edition, you know, um, so like pre-orders just for these particular colors. So it's not going to be, um, like I said, I'm not, I'm just doing colors that are kind of, um, so I either have like natural pigments or different, I've got biodegradable rose gold holographic glitter, um, you know, just things that you can't find, you know, in other shops or other places that I might just do sort of a, um, limited edition version of. So yeah, you can let me, definitely let me know, you know, do you want, um, do you like the palettes? Um, as they are do you want you know a, a like half pan version um, as well um, or instead or you know whatever so um, you can see here like there's a few pages that I was working out colors working out mixes um, and yeah just painting with them and uh, seeing how you know they would work and things like that so every kind of part of this process takes a little bit of time and I am sneaking a bit of paint here but I'm just showing you as well how um, some of the colors are really creamy some of them I'm still kind of working out the pigments so some of them take a little bit more water to activate you know a little bit more time um, putting some water on it and yeah there's a little bit of cracking and things like that but I think it just adds to the whole kind of coral reef um, situation and then um, so what I wanted to do is paint with the colors for you and I'm using the shoe off one of um, the printables so they're in my shop and 
you can see here I'm also just showing you the color and the watercolor pearls so they are watercolor they do work um, yeah I really love the uh, the shoe though when I when painting shoes is, is just really relaxing so um, yeah and I just wanted to kind of show you how you know the shells work you just just feel free to paint with everything I mean if you don't want to that's fine as well if you want to just enjoy it for a few weeks before you paint with it or anything like that that's totally fine but um yeah what am I saying I just find painting these shoes so relaxing and I had it there so I actually and I know I'm I'm, I'm pretty tired guys so um I I held the two things I wanted to say I held the um paper up just I just held it up because it was it was like one o'clock in the morning last night so there was no window I could do it on and I could have gotten the laptop and done it off that but I was just too tired so I just held it held it up to the light and just lightly sketched um like that so that worked out um and the other thing I wanted to say was uh yeah I was having a hard time just because it was so late um, kind of painting on like holding the phone and painting through the phone so I kind of look through the phone when I'm painting and yeah, it was just a bit late so um, I didn't film a lot of the painting process but there is a video from last year's advent calendar about painting these shoes and um, yeah I think it's just more about kind of showcasing you know the colors um, and how they work but one of my favorite things in this whole process of painting these shoes is the shadow so you can see I'm just I'm taking a larger brush and I am putting water right across the bottom and see it's flat underneath the toe and that's what helps to create the you know the shadow and the lifelike effect so you don't want the shadow to follow the toe upward you just want it to go straight out underneath the toe and yeah I'm using some of the um, I think this is in the purple set the purple shell set uh, under there and again like I'm, I'm choosing specific colors for what I um, you know I I'm creating the colors for how I want to paint so a lot of these are natural um, or like ethically sourced mica um, and I did uh, yeah anyway so that there's a lot of there's a lot of kind of thought that went into how to create the colors and what I'm looking for so you can see here I even dipped my brush in back backwards it was so late um, but let's see here um, so the I what I wanted to say was I think that all the colors are light fast except for the neon pink um, and yeah I'm gonna have to check that again that's like something um, because I've been collecting these pigments for maybe three years maybe a little bit longer that's how long I've been thinking about doing this and so from different places you know at different times and I'll have to go back and some of them don't even have the um, pigment information on them anymore so I'm gonna have to dig through and check that but I'm pretty sure that as I was um, getting them except for the neon pigment I think everything else was pretty light fast um, and you can see like the reds there I really wanted um, these different reds I really want to create movement and texture in the watercolor so um, yeah I've sort of worked on you know paints and mixtures that will give that effect um, and I think this could have you know done with some more work but again it was pretty late um, so the bottom color in the so in all of the five um, well in all of the souffle palettes this is I call this color ensemble of clouds and it's just this really really beautiful and elegant sort of very pale 
sort of a tint of lavender gray and it's not the kind of color that you can buy anywhere you know so I really wanted to have that as kind of the main um, base color in all the palettes so that you know once you get past the, the really beautiful first colors you're gonna have this color that's really lovely and because they are limited edition you know you will have access to it for, I mean there's probably about I don't know five half pans worth of it five full pans worth of this color in there but um, this is such a beautiful mixer and also we're just gonna paint a little cloud here um, and yeah it just gives such a nice feeling like even in a cloud which you want to be fluffy even though this has um, texture and granulation in it it just creates this really kind of old worldly feeling to the painting <music> So this is a shoe and we will be painting that. That's another one from the printables and it's it's not actually the colour, um, the Ensemble of Clouds colour, but it's a very similar mix um, that I use in that shoe, in that painting. And so we will look at that um, in a different painting. But I just wanted you to see, I really, really loved painting with that and that's what made me create that mix. So, and you can see here um, with the rose gold holographic sparkle, I'm just putting it in the shadow of the shoe. So once I have all the other layers on, I'm sprinkling that on, on the top there and it just creates this beautiful shimmer. And you can see here again, I am putting it in the clouds. So I really like to put um, these as like a final layer and kind of in an unexpected place.
So here are some little like dot shell kind of freebies as I had like any extra little bits of paint I just popped them in these shells um, Yeah, and I wanted there's actually a couple of other freebies that I want to try and organize so shipping will be two to four weeks to get everything um, finished and shipped off to you guys um, the shop update I forgot about that so the shop update will be today at 2.30 is what I'm going for but if I can't um, get it done let's see it's 1.30 now so um, I might actually just go for 3.30 by the time I get everything uplisted to Etsy and even get this video um, uploaded to YouTube so um, let's just go with yeah let's go with 3.30 if I can't um, if they're not up there by 3.30 I'll try again for 4 o'clock so if there's any kind of um, problems or whatever I will leave a comment pinned underneath this video um, but let's go for 3.30 so um, you can see here as well so our next video um, in two weeks will be about pencils and I've been still doing this little thing that I've been doing kind of these small um, you know just the little squares of sketches and I've been using pencils a lot so I've come up with like my perfect pencil palette it's 36 colors and then my top 12 and a few other things that I've been working on with pencils and shading and things like that we will go over in the next video there is like a sneak peek on Instagram as well so yeah I think that is it for today guys um, have a really lovely um, I love this rose so my mum actually got Valentine's Day roses and yeah we I snagged this one and it's so so beautiful so I have sketched this a couple of times which you will see as well in the next video okay have a really lovely weekend and I will see you in the next video bye